going on everybody? G-Man here. Back with another Jade Empire Special Edition. Let us get started. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna bring some I'm gonna bring a new guy in this time. I'm gonna bring in Sagacia Zoo. Let's keep things simple. If someone gets in our way, remove them. I haven't really used him that much, so I'll give him a try. Now, uh, last time we left off, we cured the forest, and now we're going to go to a pirate slayer. So, let us get, get on over there, get started, and have some fun. He said to meet him by the dock. Well, I'm going to go find that person. But before we do that, let's go see if we can get some new training done by these two people over here. Your move, old goat. Always a pleasure to talk to another warrior. My Let's see, I seek your training. Yes, I know. It is good that you have come to me. You deserve to learn to control the earth, but you must also learn that the stone can never truly be controlled. It is the only way you will learn the true secrets of Stone Immortal. I will not force you into this decision. Let's see. I will face Stone Immortal with no fear in my heart. Good. Leave it. This will not be an easy test, uh, but I suspect later. you are ready for it. Legendary strike! Yeah. Focus! Well done. Very few can withstand Stone Immortal. Only those who understand the world around them, in fact. You understand your place, and yet you are not afraid to use your strength when it is required. That will serve you well in this lifetime. And... As I said, that will serve you well. Let's see, what were you about to say there? Don't mind me. I was just thinking out loud. Students of your caliber are rare. Oh, no, you will, Don't mind him. Men become temperamental at his age. Here, let me teach you to coax the earth to do your bidding. Only your connection to the world and your understanding of your place will convince them. An honor to learn from you, Mistress Bo. It was an honor to teach what I could. I am not the instructor Master Jian was, but his lessons would not have suited your temperament. Remember to remain true to the high path. The earth only serves those who know their place among all things. Indeed. Shall we meet again next year, Jian? Niato nonapadi iruvir. You have made that proclamation every year for two decades. Those teeth must be frightfully long by now. However do you open your mouth anymore? Until next year, you old goat. Alright, so we learned a new spell called Stone Immortal. And I apologize if I... Did some yelling. Um, my roommate was getting ready for work, so that's why. <laughs> Anyways, we learned uh, Stony Mortal, which is another good spell. Instead of uh, using Ice Shard, we use uh, we just throw stones at people. Let's see, fire. Let's see, 
Fighters who study this gain mastery over the ponderous elements of earth, putting the might of power, putting the mighty power of stone and crystal at their command. Masters of stones and mortal have the ability to attack enemies with crystalline missiles, encasing foes in stones, or even open the ground beneath and open opponents' feet. Oh, that's actually quite useful. I'll definitely try that out once I level it up a little more, of course. Let's see. Anyways, we gotta go to the dock, of course. Uh, let's see. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Wait. Is that it? No. Oh, I think that's him. Yep. There you are! <laughs> I confess that when I got down here, I wasn't sure I actually met you. Too much wine in me. I thought you might have been a dream, but here you are! I can take you to the pirates if you still want to go. It'll be an easy trip. The river is quite tame again since you closed the dam. No danger at all. Until you meet the pirates. Let's see. Alright, take me to the pirate camp. I'll take you. And if the pirates slate your throat and dump your body in the river, I'll bring you back to town for a nice burial. If they leave your body on land, you're out of luck. I suppose this is the only way for us to continue. I just hope he isn't wasting our time. I can take you no farther. Be wary in this place. Pirates everywhere. Alright, wait for me here. Of course! You can count on me. If any pirates come by and try to take my barge, I'll show them how well I use my paddle. Uh, good luck to you in there. And if you need to leave in a hurry, just come running. Alright, here we go. Nikno irkut fan son we song o fear now was was a ir son what I'm sorry I'm sorry your brothers inside made me clean up their chicken bones I came as soon as I finished but in my haste I tripped and fell down the stairs Was a ir at nopa uno fakir ukno aku Wo no wir apa wafo ir ukir okir wo ifer Wasa ir at nopa uno fakir ukno aku. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't beat me. Uh, I'll get the wine and some food, yes. Me make me crawl like a dog. Yeah, this will teach them a lesson they won't forget. Come on, stupid rope. Come on, make them sorry they ever. Huh? Wait, don't hurt me. I was just. Uh... Hey, you're no pirate. I remember the face of everyone I used to sail with, and I've never seen you before. Who are you? My name's Chung. Once I was a pirate on the river, but things were different then. We took pride in our work. We were professionals. Not like these lazy, drunken louts. The younger pirates used to look up to me. Now they treat me like dirt. They treat me worse than that slave cleaning the pier. But I'm gonna get even. I'll show them. How are you going to get even? Those drunks on the pier were supposed to unload the ship, but they're too lazy to finish the job. They left a cannon suspended above the dock, supported by this single rope. One quick pull and that cannon comes crashing down, taking out the dock and anyone on it. 
but my old bones can't pull hard enough to loosen the knots in the rope. What about that slave cleaning the dock? I got nothing against the kid, but dropping the cannon is the easiest way to wipe out everyone on the pier. Tough break for the kid, but much easier for you. I won't hurt an innocent. You want to take the guards on face to face? I won't stop you. Still think you should use the rope, though. Tough break for the kid cleaning the pier, but much easier for you. But whatever you're gonna do, do it quick. Won't be long until those pirates on the dock start wondering what's taking me so long with their wine. All right, let's go save that slave. Legendary strike! Oh, I'm disorientated. Boom. They're, they're dead. I don't have to sweep the dock no more. You saved me. Oh, but there's more pirates inside. Lots more. They'll catch you, and you'll be a slave like the rest of us. Or they'll kill you. Let's see. Don't worry. They won't kill me. This whole island is crawling with pirates. They'll kill you, but they won't catch me again. I know where to hide. Right, let's check on over here. Any goods? Any goods? No. Alrighty then. <laughs> Those pirates didn't seem to give you much trouble at all. Back in my day, a pirate knew how to fight, but these young ones are soft. Gao ruined everything. I tried to tell them, but nobody listened. You'd think the Lotus Assassins would have been a warning. Even a pirate knows better than to get mixed up with them. Alright. Nothing else. Goodbye. Watch yourself in this place. One minute you're on top, and the next you're on the bottom, bowing and scraping. Will I? If you scum have any sense at all, you'll stand aside. Let me go drive a blade through your master's throat and I'll forget I saw you. Oh, certainly. We'll sit back and let you stroll upstairs to kill our leader. Would it help if we drew you a map to his room? I wasn't serious, you idiot. We're going to kill this intruder and go back to our drinking. 
He's just one man. He can't beat all of us. Look around. The odds are not so much in your favor. There's still a chance for you to run. What are you talking about, fool? You haven't noticed my partner over there watching us? He spent his entire lifetime learning how to kill dogs like you. This is your last chance. So, the thief brought a friend. That just means you won't die alone. Attack! How'd I know you'd be deadly in a fight? You'll have to accept my apologies for dragging you into that, but I can't afford to be stopped. Not now. My name is Sky. It's good to see there's someone else in this place who can't stand these slaving dogs. We make quite the pair. Good thing I was here to save... <clears throat> Let me try that again. Good thing I was here to save you. Indeed. I find I'm just not saved enough these days. Shame, that. It was obvious you weren't with the pirates. Why not deal with them quickly? There's bigger game above us. Speaking of which, there's a very secure and equally intimidating gate blocking the way. If we work together, though, it'll be simple to crack. How do you know your way around this place so well? It's funny what things you can learn if you just ask at the right time. Like when you have a knife to someone's throat. Things like how to reach the upper levels of this place, despite that security door. Let's talk about this plan of yours. How do we get past that door? The door at the top of this stair is locked through a fairly ingenious mechanism. Gao's engineer, Kang the Mad, designed it for security. How does the mechanism work? Kang the Mad is a crafty fellow. The door requires two to unlock it. Up high there is a platform with the release lever. The door must be operated while the lever is held forward. There used to be a sentry up there who handled that kind of thing, but uh, he had an accident. I can climb up and pull the lever easily enough. You can open the door when it's unlocked. Then what happens? Once the door is open, we can go our separate ways. I have my goals, and I'm sure you have yours. Since we both have much to do, why don't I go and lock the door now? Very well. Go unlock the door. Or, why don't we work together after the door is open? As much as I would value your company, I'm afraid I must decline. I've come here to do something for myself, and I must do it alone. I should go now, but I have to ask in case we never meet again. Where did you study? I trained under Master Lee of Two Rivers. He must have been a genius. You fight like no one I've seen before. I've heard of this kind of thing before. What's so strange what's so strange about how I fight? No one I've ever met fights like you do. It's subtle, but your movements bait your foes into seeing an opening that isn't there. It's like a clever trap. I'm sorry, I'm wasting time neither of us can spare. I'll get ready and pull the lever when you're near the door. Good luck with whatever brought you to this place. Nara ear fo near wunu kanawa ofa ear kanawa wunu. How did you end up here? Ukir neko si se sair wo sair wo sair ni fu ear. Sair yo wo ya ear ni tata dia ni sa sa pika. 
Don't worry, I'll find Fuyuko, Fuyao for you. Alright. Let's check around. Mistress, I am almost ready to return to the Imperial City. Another day, and I will bring you the amulet fragment. I lose confidence in you with each passing hour, Lim. You should have been back by now. Why haven't you ordered Gao to grant you one of his flyers? Mistress, Gao's ships are only small flyers. They're good for short-range flights and raiding villages, but not for long journeys. That's why I haven't returned yet. Don't try to pin your failings on me, Lim. I've delivered everything I promised. It's only a matter of time until I finish the special dragonfly to transport the artifact to the Imperial City. Until you finish? <laughs> I designed that dragonfly. I built it, not Gao. That dragonfly is Kang's masterpiece. Silence the mad fool. Oh, I've heard rumors of a spy disrupting our operations in the South Lim. Maybe this is all too much for you to handle. Perhaps I should come out there personally. That will not be necessary, Mistress. I will deal with the troublemaker here and return to the Imperial City in one day. You heard, Mistress Jia. I can't waste any more time here. Get that flyer finished now. Gia is not my mistress, Lim, and I don't take orders from you either. Remember, if not for my son, you would never have discovered where the glorious strategist was hiding. I am well aware of your son's role in all this, Gal. In fact, I suspect I know more about him than you do. What are you talking about? Have you heard something about young Gao? Tell me! Of course, Gal. I was just waiting for the perfect time to tell you. I received a report from the destruction of two rivers. Your son, Gao the Lesser, is dead. No! This can't be! You lie! I speak the truth. It seems your son was no match for one of the other students. From the condition of his body, it sounds like he died quite painfully. No! Young Gao was everything to me! Damn you and your black heart, Lin. Damn you! I... I want to be alone. I, I must grieve for my son. No one is to disturb me. No one! If I can get to the Imperial City fast enough, I can give the amulet fragment to Death's Hand himself. Then Grand Inquisitor Jia may be in for a surprise. We shall see. You may have your workshop back, Mad One. I suspect Gao will be preoccupied for some time, so I'm in charge now. I suggest you finish your dragonfly today. Interruptions. Who designed that dragonfly? <laughs> to build something to make his sandals explode. 
So that is Gal's father. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's go in. But before we do, let's check around here. Oh, can't get through there. Too bad. Here we go, people. with your punching and kicking. I was going to make more of an explodey thing, but uh, kicking worked well too. Who are you? I am Kay, the man. I make things explode, and I make things fly, and I'm very good at both. The things I fly tend to survive. The things I explode, not so much. You make things explode? I make all sorts of things, and yes, many are designed to expend energy, uh, quickly. But my greatest prize does not explode much. Something I have kept for myself. My greatest invention is in the launch room upstairs. Light and fast, she has weapons and capacity no other flyer does. The marvelous dragonfly. Who were those people I saw here? Let me try again. Who were those people I saw in here earlier? The man with the eye wrap was Inquisitor Lim, a Lotus assassin, very cruel. The wealthy merchant was Gao the Greater, of course. He runs this place. The woman directing them both was Grand Inquisitor Jia. Jia partnered with Gao the Greater and sent Inquisitor Lim here as her representative. And because of their demands, I am forced to make flyers that they misuse. But they won't get the marvelous dragonfly. My special creation will not be abused. You build Gao a special flyer? Under protest, Gao does not appreciate what I make. He misuses, and worse, he duplicates and diminishes their glory. Well, no more. The dragonfly will not function. Gao wants to give my machine to the Lotus Assassins, but I stopped him. I hid the extraneous dust inductor where no one will find it. <laughs> Try to fly without that. But they can make a new inductor. It is extraneous after all. So, a few days ago, I blew up the inscrutable power source. Now the Dragonfly can only make short hops. Will you help me against Gao and the Lotus Assassin? Yes! Yes, of course! What do you think I've been saying? You need to listen more carefully. If you stage a combat-related accident for Gao, like falling down a flight of punches, I'll replace the inductor on the Dragonfly, and we can fly away! What do you say? I agree. I will see what I can do. You are sure to profit from this partnership. In fact, I've never accidentally exploded anyone traveling with me, so that alone is a benefit of my presence. Anyway, you go ahead, and once all the kicking is done, I'll come along and we'll see what's what. Uh, for now, let me think. Uh, we'll need explosives that explode. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Go and leave me to think. Oh, seems like a nice guy. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Oh, let me go ahead and open that bridge up. Nice. Do not resist! 
and done. I wonder what's in there. Oh, it's the girl. Please, don't burn me. I'll do anything you want. I'm sure you will, child. But deep inside, you think you're not a slave. Only true pain will wash away these thoughts. You can have your slaves when they're broken. Not a moment before. Help me, please! You wandered into the wrong room, slave. Hey, I know you. Mother and I met you when we were trying to get out of Tien's Landing. Don't speak to her. Don't speak to her like that. I don't want to be a slave. I just want to get out of this place. The girl is not for sale. Oh, I'm not suggesting that you should take him up on this, not I. But I will say that some silver would help in our mission. I'm glad you're safe, Mother. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, and I learned a new move, apparently. Iron Forced palm. labor is sometimes necessary when difficult work must be done. Perhaps not in this case, but sometimes. My game bugs out. Did you see Gao when he went by? There was fire in his eyes. There's always fire in his eyes. Dark magic burns inside him. Yeah, but this time it was worse. Better stay out of his way for the next little while. Something really set him off. Wait a minute. You there! Who are you? You can't be up here! I am healed.
some scrolls. This must be the dragonfly. And you blew that door really open. think that through before you started messing with those controls, did you? Those weapons could have killed us. Instead, you've blown open that massive door. Only you could be that lucky. All right, let's go see what's inside. Control demons too. They have amassed a great deal of power. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight a demon. Hopefully, we don't have to fight a demon. This area is forbidden. Only Gao himself is allowed to enter. You must be destroyed. Uh, I have no quarrel with you. Nor I, you. But the power of Gao's magic compels me. He summoned me to this place and bound me to guard this chamber. The penalty for all who enter is death. I, Zhangxi, the great elephant demon, must crush you. There we go. We got by an elephant. Now. Focus. Focus. Gem there. And it. More gems. And a focus shrine. Awesome. Take like that. Yeah. I gotta look at these gems later. See what I wanna keep and what I wanna, you know, sell. Actually, you know what, I'll look at them right now. See what kind of gems we got. Damn, we got some good gems here. Plus 12. area. And this must be the little headquarters. Let me go around. Maybe I'll find something good. Let's see. 
save one more time. All right, here we go. Go away, Lim. My son is dead. Leave me to my grief, or I will see that you join him. Listen to me, Gao. Your son may not be lost forever. The Lotus Assassins have power, even over the dead. I know all about the necromancy of the Lotus Assassins. Take your false hope and go, or I'll... Wait. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for... Wait. You are not one of my servants. I know you. You are one of Master Lee's students. You, you are the one who killed my Gao. I didn't want to kill him. He left me no choice. Your words mean nothing. You are a murderer, a killer. Gao was everything to me, and now he's gone. Damn you in that school. My Gao was never good enough for Master Lee. You were always his prize pupil. But now my son is... Enough, Gao! This troublemaker has disrupted our plans from the beginning. It had to be them in the ruins, and someone aided the troublesome Lord Yun in the forest. It is time to end your meddling. I don't know your face, or if it might be worth anything to my masters. But you travel with the accursed Zhu, and his death may at least settle some old scores. What do you know of Sagacious Zoo? Sagacious? Is that what you call yourself now? Hardly a worthy representation of the blood you spilled. You do not know me, Assassin. Perhaps, but I know what you were. Not that it matters anymore. Enough talk! I will delay your death no longer. May your fall sate the anger of Death's Hand, will of the Emperor. Take this guy out first. Nicely done. Alright, now we can add two more gems to our little slot here. I'll add another Bronx Tongue. And I will add... Let me look through my options here. Dead already. Damn it all. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. Where have you been? After I left you, I stumbled across some very interesting documents. Perhaps I spent too long poring over them, but I couldn't resist. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? I also saw, saw you free some of them. True enough. I have a particular hatred for slavers. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Oh, Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. Oh no. 
I lost her mother when Pinmei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. That's horrible. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. Gal the Greater providing them with flyers as well. Is that so? There can be no doubt then. This goes beyond Gal the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. It would be good to have you along. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. What is it? Hey! That's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well. <laughs> Next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together rather than apart. He's full of himself, but he's talented enough to be useful. Besides, his solutions seem more practical than others our little group might offer. If you are planning to take on the servants of Death's Hand, you'll need all the help you can get. Glad to have you aboard, Sky. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. Let's go level up. Let me see here. Let's see this one. Uh, a little bit more in focus. Let's level up Stone Immortal. Out some damage. Alright. Uh, low chi cost. Duration, yes. Alright. I'll definitely try this out for sure. You've done well so far. You seem to have everything you need to get that dragonfly up into the skies again. But this quest is far from over. Let's go back to the camp at Tian's Landing. The Dragonfly can take us to the Imperial City. That's where the Lotus Assassin must have taken your master. Save one more time. Because this game can be a bit buggy sometimes. Kicking and such, it really gets the blood flowing. And explosions. Lots of blood flowing from those too. 
I replace the dust inductor. The marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way. The heavens welcome my machines, but not without considerable cajoling. If you want to fly more than a short distance, I will need an inscrutable power source. Oh, I have one right here. Ha <laughs> ha! What wonders cling to you, my friend. There were only two in this whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Hmm, not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. What about Rue? He's waiting for me to take me take me back. Don't worry about that. When the marvelous dragonfly takes off, the earth shakes and the sky trembles. You can't miss it. Your friend will see us take off and he'll head back to town on his own. Okay, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! Alright, let's fight. flyer seems nicer than the one we took from Gal the Lesser. Although, I'm really only judging by how shiny it is. A poor guess, I'm sure. No, no. The marvelous dragonfly is superior to the amber mosquitoes I foisted on Gal. And actually, the shinier, the better. The heavens like their glory reflected. A shame I can't leave it on the ground for all to see, but I'm not going through all this just to have it stripped to the frame by local brats. I'll call it back if we need it. Uh, 
How do you control it from this distance? Well, it's much like the dilemma of the centipede. If he relaxes and lets things happen, he can walk naturally all day long, his hundred legs not missing a step. But if he thinks too hard about the complexity of what he's doing, those legs might crash into the tea house and kill everyone. A valuable lesson. I'll speak to you when I'm ready. Now we have everything we need to follow Master Lee's captors to the Imperial City. I am eager to do so after all the resistance we've encountered. I'm interested in how are you how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering you? I'm trying to feel good about what happened at Gao's fortress, the lair of his pirates. No, you weren't even there. We went looking for our master and perhaps another flyer, but we found he was not prepared for how cruel people could be. Seeing those people with no control over their fates, it is similar to a pain in my past that I have not thought about for a long time. I've always been interested in you. Tell me what you remember. Ugh, remember. I would not dream of saying my experience is similar to those poor people in Gao's fortress. But that lack of control, I know that well. One of the only things I know about myself is that on the morning I was born, the sky was red, like distant mountains were on fire. Perhaps it was dirge burning, as Zoo said. I believe it was an ill omen, and that stigma is why my abilities became a burden. That's why I must have been left at the school. To be subject to the whims of someone else just because of what you are, be you slave or outsider. Yes, I know that well. You stand out. I prefer that. I know the feeling. Yes, you are an outsider too, albeit one with power to change your world. I think the slaves in the pirate layer would greatly appreciate your skill in defense. And I would make great use of your confidence. You inspire me to think of the possibilities, not just the problems. I'm gaining an appreciation for the person you are becoming. Perhaps we should speak on these matters again sometime. All right. Goodbye. Be well, my friend. Let's talk to everybody else here. What? What do you want? What do you think of our situation? What are you asking me for? You've got everything you need to make that flying machine go. So, let's go already. I'm looking forward to getting to the Imperial City. They've got the cheapest wine in all the Empire. <laughs> and plenty of it. Alright, that's all for now. Nah. How about Sky? Something's on your mind? Do you have a minute to talk? Of course. I was just thinking about things. Gal richly deserved his death, but I'm not sure I ever really expected it to happen. How does that make you feel? I feel fine, but determined. Our work isn't done, but we've taken a small step by removing that stain upon the Empire's honor. How did you track Gal? Gao's slavers took my daughter, Pin Mei, and I was able to follow them. Fortunately, they didn't cover their tracks. I chased them down, trying to reach her. I was too late. Pin Mei was spirited, and I'm sure she fought them. I believe they decided she was too much trouble and killed her. Five years old, and they ran her through. Damn. I found her dead by the roadside and stopped my pursuit. By the time I cared to continue my chase, the slavers were long gone. That's terrible. I'm sorry to bring this up. It's fine. Thank you for your concern, but for the most part, I've come to terms with her death. But why dwell on this? Gao is dead, and perhaps Pin Mei has found some peace. That's what really matters. That and what we still have to accomplish. Things like this are important to dwell on. You're right, but we have to pick our time, and now isn't it. We can talk about this later. Alright, that's it. Always happy to help. Now uh, let's talk to 
Henpeck. Prosperous tidings. What can humble Ho do to assist you today? What do you think of our situation? It would seem that we at last have the means necessary to get us back to the Imperial City, and for that I should be very glad. However, I must now face the greatest trial of all. My sweet wife will no doubt be waiting for me. Soon my time with the cannibals will be nothing but a fond memory. Why did you marry your wife if she was so difficult? Like many things in my life, it can be traced back to very bad luck on my part. As I mentioned once before, I was a master of the drunken master style. I was the tournament champion in Phoenix Gate when things spun out of control. My need for wine took its toll on my body. There are long periods I don't even remember. After one such period, I came to, having lost most of my clothes and all my money. I was destitute, and without the ability to buy more wine, I couldn't even fight. What did you do? Eventually, I found work cleaning out creature cages at the local arena. One day, I was approached by a man who remembered seeing me fight. He offered to sponsor me. Just like that, I was back in the ring. After climbing my way back to the top of the tournament, my sponsor told me it was time to fulfill my end of the bargain. I guess, wait, what was it that he had to do? Apparently, the agreement stipulated that I must marry his niece. If only I had read the agreement more closely, I could still be shoveling dirt in the creature cages. Alas, fate had a crueler path in mind for me. Let that be a lesson for you. Always read the fine print, or you may end up with more than you bargained for. That's some good advice right there. Alright, that's all I gotta say. As you wish. I will be here waiting impatiently if you require anything. Uh... I think I talked to everybody. What do you want? What do you think of our situation? I think we should keep going. The Guardian says so too. The city is the center of the Empire. All roads lead there. All winds too! We can fly! I've always wanted to fly. Is there anything else you wanted? No, that's it. Okay. Alright. Um, I will show you guys a sneak preview of the Imperial City and then we'll call it a day. That's it! You have everything you need. Just let me know when you want to go and we'll set the marvelous dragonfly to flight. We have everything we need. Let's go to the Imperial City. Good, good. My beautiful dragonfly will finally get a real test. Let's hope those modifications hold up. deal.
Have you seen anyone matching the description? The Lotus Assassins are getting impatient. They were very vague and wouldn't answer my questions. Are they even sure of who they are looking for? Does it matter? Death's Hand himself seeks this one. Do you need any more incentive than that? Just question everyone. This person apparently caused a lot of damage in the South. Here, what about this one? At least it's a man, like they said. You, identify yourself. By order of the Emperor and the Lotus Assassins, state your name and purpose for being in the Imperial City. Of course. I am Chakaraka, a simple traveler. We are questioning everyone who has arrived in the city recently. You bear a resemblance to someone we are looking for. I don't know. Shaved head, stern features, monk attire. It's not enough to be sure. Hmm. We could hold him anyway. It's not a good match, but the Lotus Assassins would leave us be for a few days while they question him. Is there a problem here, Captain? Well, is there? Oh, shit. No, Princess Leanne. Princess. We were questioning this traveler by order of the Lotus Assassins. There is no need to pursue this questioning any further. You may go. My apologies, Princess, but I was ordered to detain anyone even vaguely matching. Captain, this man is here on a personal matter of mine that does not concern you. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, Princess Leanne. Then unless you wish to be transferred to the Wall, you will leave and continue your search. Well, we meet again. I've watched your progress. It seems I underestimated you in Tian's Landing. I have no doubt that you will make as much of an impact on the Imperial City. Forgive me, but I am not sure how to address you. I understand. Our last meeting was under... interesting circumstances. You may address me as Princess Leanne, the Heavenly Lily. It is, as you can see, customary to bow in my presence. Of course. Forgive me, Princess. Hmm. Somehow I did not expect you to kowtow so quickly. Or maybe I just hoped you wouldn't. I get so tired of fawning servants. That is why I often travel without official escort, and occasionally present myself as someone less bridled by the rules of the court. You understand why I don't go into detail here in the street, don't you? With what I have to tell you, I don't want to lose that option of disguise. Of course, Princess, Princess Leanne. Should we talk elsewhere? That would be best. I trust the servants I keep, but this is best discussed away from the open street. I will not speak the location aloud. Take this note. We will meet nearby. But I must have a moment to acquire more fitting attire. Of course. At your convenience. Very well. We will continue speaking later. I'm sure we both have questions that need answering. Don't be too long. My message concerns your master, and time is very important. It would not have been proper for her to award it to you herself, but Princess Sun Lian requests that you accept this gift. She looks forward to your next meeting. Chapter 3, The Imperial City. Well, that's that, people. We finally made it to the Imperial City. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on my next gameplay. Take care, everybody.